Hi, I'm Moni Munoz Torres from the Berkeley Bioinformatics Open Source Projects team at Lawrence Berkeley Lab. We are the developers of Apollo, a collaborative genome annotation editing tool. In this video, I will briefly demonstrate how to merge two gene models and how to edit the resulting intron exon boundaries using two different approaches. First, by setting the boundary to the nearest upstream splice donor, and second, by using evidence available from RNA sequencing reads to set the 5' end of your gene annotation. First, begin by dragging the gene models you are going to merge into the user-created annotations area. In this case, we know that these two predictions should be brought together to correctly annotate the ortholog of RNA polymerase 2 in the honeybee genome. Second, double-click on each model to select the entire annotation and select both gene models using the Shift key. Then, use the right-click menu to merge the models. Merging the models recalculates the longest open reading frame, thus the changes in coding sequence that you can observe here. As you can see, it has also caused Apollo to raise warnings that there are now two non-canonical splice sites in this model, shown here as orange circles with an exclamation point in the middle. This gene model is a good example for adjusting the splice sites using two different approaches. First, let's zoom into the end of this gene model. By using the options on the right-click menu, you can select to set the boundary of this accent to the upstream splice donor. Apollo finds the canonical donor site and changes the boundary. Now on to the next exon. Using the aligned RNA-seq reads, in this case from nurse bees, you can set the beginning of this exon by selecting both the evidence read down here and the gene model while holding down the shift key. Then, display the right-click menu over the annotation and choose the option to set as 5 prime end. That's it! Using evidence in support of this hypothesis, we have merged the two gene models and corrected the intron exon boundaries using Apollo. Explore more of the Apollo functionality at www.genomearchitect.org. Happy annotating!